Welcome to my channel. Uh, before I do anything else, I got to show you my shirt. <laughs> Everybody asked me to show them, so <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, I love humor. It's one of my favorite things in life. <clears throat> I'm going to do five reactions today, as I always do, but before I do that, I want to share with you a video that opened my eyes to what's going on in the world today, especially the conflict between Israel and Iran. Now, if you're not familiar with this guy, his name is Jonathan Kahn. He is a messianic Jew. What that means is he's a Jew who believes that Jesus Christ was the Messiah. And so he's a Jewish Christian, if you will. Uh, but he uh, he has a in-depth knowledge of the Old Testament and he's able to take the Old Testament and relate prophecies in the Old Testament to what's going on today. And I've already shared one video of his with you, and I wanted to share this one because this one is very relevant to what's going on right now in the world. And I didn't want you to miss it. And of course, I'll put the link in the description. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because his talks are usually 30 or 40 minutes long. Uh, but I'm going to show you the first part of it. Before I do that, I do want to thank you for coming here and for watching my videos and for your support. I really do appreciate it. So, this is Jonathan Kahn, and the title of this video is The Persian Mystery, Israel, Iran, and the End Times. What on earth is going on? Israel, Iran, America, the world, is it prophecy? Is it the end of the age? Are we on the verge of what the scriptures warned us of? Everybody's asking what's happening. This is Jonathan Kahn, and in this message, I'm gonna open up the ancient prophecies, a mystery that lies behind what's now taking place from the prophecies of Ezekiel to the vision of Daniel, how it actually lies behind what is happening before our eyes right now and will affect all of our lives. I'll even be revealing an ancient entity behind it all. First, this is the only real official site where I put up prophetic messages. Fake Jonathan Kahn sites are springing up all over. Second, to make sure you don't miss the messages and prophetic updates I'm gonna post here, hit subscribe. Third, send these messages to those you know who need to see them. Fourth, update on the coming book, The Dragon's Prophecy, Israel, the Dark Resurrection and the End of Days. Its official release is September 3rd, but you can be the first to get it probably before it comes out. By pre-ordering it on Amazon or any other place, it's all over. Okay, let's go. The Bible says that at the end of the age, the world will be focused on Israel. And so now the world is again focused on this tiny little nation, the size of New Jersey, Israel. The Bible says in the last days, Israel will be the center of controversy. It's gonna be attacked. Here we are, Israel is at the center of world controversy and on April 14th, it was attacked by Iran. And the whole world now teeters on war. The most powerful nations in the world are in fear of world war. Is all this part of an ancient mystery, an end time prophecy? On April 14th, 2024, Iran fired a barrage of missiles into the land of Israel. Some of the missiles came from Iran's allies, Yemen, Syria, Iraq, Hezbollah. Israel, along with its allies, America, the United Kingdom, France, shot down the rockets. Even Jordan shot down missiles coming over its airspace. Even Saudi Arabia said they did the same. In the end, one Arab girl was hurt and there was some damage at an Israeli army base, but not a lot. 99% of the rockets were shot down, but it was unprecedented. It was the first time ever that Iran directly launched an attack on the nation of Israel. Iran's been fighting Israel covertly for years, using proxies, using funding, arming, training, Hezbollah to fire missiles into Israel and other terrorist groups. But this was the first time the war of the two nations came out into the open with a direct strike, a direct attack. Was it prophesied? 
Is it part of biblical end time prophecy? Could it ultimately lead to world war? Iran has been furiously seeking to get nuclear power, nuclear weapons. What makes that especially dangerous is Iran is especially dangerous to begin with. As a radical Shiite Muslim state led by radical Shiite Muslim Ayatollahs, it's the key sponsor of terrorism throughout the Middle East. Combine terrorism with nuclear weapons and you've got an explosion. The leaders of Iran believe there is to come an Islamic ruler who's going to take over the world whom they call the Mahdi. It's an imitation of the Messiah and it could perfectly fit what the Bible says about the Antichrist. It's not inconceivable that Iran could actually want to start a world war that will usher in the Mahdi as they see it. Israel is closely allied with America. Even though recently Biden's relationship with Netanyahu has dramatically deteriorated. Russia is a close ally of Iran, so is China. Is it this that could bring about the next war or even a world war? Does the Bible speak about this? Did it prophesy of this? The prophet Ezekiel was given a prophecy that could be the very next end time major prophetic event. Ezekiel 38 opens with this. Now the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog of the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I'm against you, Gog, the prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal. And it goes on, verse 5. Paras, Cush, and Put are with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all its troops, the house of Togarma from the far north and all its troops. Many people are with you. Prepare yourself and be ready, you and all your companies that are gathered about you and be a guard for them. After many days, you will be visited. In the latter years, you will come back into the land of those brought back from the sword and gathered from many peoples on the mountains of Israel, which had long been desolate. They were brought out of the nations and now all of them dwell safely. You will ascend. You'll come like a storm covering the land like a cloud. You and all your troops and many peoples with you. What is it saying? It is a prophecy of a coming invasion of the land of Israel. An invasion that involves not one nation, but a host of nations, a multitude. When will it happen? The prophecy makes it clear. It's going to happen after many days. That's a biblical idiom that generally speaks of the end times. And it says it will happen in the latter years. That means the end times. It's going to come upon Israel, an Israel that has been gathered back from the nations, from many nations. That's only happened now from many nations. Only this Israel was gathered from the ends of the earth. Now here's another clue, verse 10 of Ezekiel. It says, thus says the Lord God, on that day it shall come to pass that thoughts will arise in your mind, then you'll make an evil plan. You will say, I will go up against a land of unwalled villages. I'll go to a peaceful people who dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls, having neither bars or gates. Notice it says, a land of unwalled villages. Well, in the ancient world, there were walls all over. Walls were for protection. That only began to fade out with the use of cannons and gunpowder, where walls weren't protecting anymore. It's only in the modern world that there is an Israel without walls, but it has an iron dome. Now, can we know the nations that are actually spoken of, prophesied of in Ezekiel's prophecy? Well, the amazing thing is the prophecy actually names them. Now the names are those which would have been identified in ancient times, but still they give us real clues and real evidence. Now I'm not gonna open up all the names of the invaders in this video. I can do it in the days to come. And particularly the issue of whether Russia is one of those nations and even the key nation. That's a controversy, a question and a mystery. I'm actually opening these things up on Friday nights at Beth Israel when we do prophecy. But I'm gonna open it here in the future, but now, I want to focus on just one of the invaders. One of them is named in the Hebrew Paras. Your Bibles may have already translated. There can be no question as to who this is or was. This is the most clear cut one of all. This nation has not changed as far as its identity for at least two and a half thousand years. And it was very distinct. It was a very different nation different from the other nations mentioned in the prophecy of Ezekiel. 
The others were from Asia Minor or from the northeast of Africa, northern Africa. This is far away to the east, one and a half thousand miles away. So what would it have to do with Israel? Now this nation has played a major role in Jewish history and a good one. In ancient times, it was called Paras in Hebrew. In Arabic, it was called Faris. In Greek, it was called Persis. It called itself Parsa after one of the tribes of its land. In Latin, Persis or Parsa became Persia. It is the nation or kingdom of Persia. When Ezekiel wrote this, Persia had not even come into its world empire. It was just rising up. But it would become extremely important with regard to Jewish history. It was Persia, led by King Cyrus the Great, that allowed the Jews to go back to Israel to rebuild the temple and the nation. Later on, it was in Persia that the Jews were almost exterminated because of a Persian leader named Haman or Haman. That's the book of Esther. That's the holiday of Purim. Interesting that the first of nations that we know of that sought to destroy the Jewish people as the Jewish people is that nation. And it okay, that's enough. That's about uh, nine minutes of a 35-minute uh, lecture, if you will. Um, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because it is extremely relevant to what's going on today. And the thing that I like about Jonathan Kahn is unlike some people who um, are constantly pumping out what they call prophecies, and it's, it's really impossible for us to know if they're prophecies or not because they're for the future, and you can't know whether a prophecy is true or not until the future arrives and it doesn't happen. But Jonathan Kahn doesn't do that. What he does is he goes into the Old Testament and he looks at the prophecies that were made in the Old Testament and he analyzes them in light of present day events. And he asks himself, is this the fulfillment of this prophecy? And what he's saying here is that Ezekiel prophesied that Iran, known as Persia at the time, would attack Israel. And this is the first time since Israel was reconstituted in 1967 that Iran has directly attacked Israel. And he goes into much more detail and, and, and shows you how this is really a spiritual battle, not a physical battle, although it is physical. There's no question about that. Uh, but the, the, the motivating factor behind it is spiritual. And these are actually, uh, how should we call them? Uh, devil spirits that have been around for a long time that are high ranking, that are, that are up in the upper hierarchy of the devil's kingdom. And they have been working for thousands and thousands of years to thwart God's will. And that's what this is all about, is there is a major devil spirit who is currently in Iran working to destroy Israel, God's chosen people. And, and he lays it all out. It's very clear when he's done, you'll understand. So I highly recommend that you listen to this when you get time. Just set aside a half hour and, and sit down and go through it. And I pray that God will open your eyes to what's going on in the world and that you will understand that although what you see in the physical realm is disturbing, that what's really going on is a spiritual battle of mammoth proportions between the devil's army and God. And I believe that we are approaching the end times. It's quite possible that I might never die. 
because as a Christian, I'm going to be gathered together into the clouds. And if that happens, if the end time happens, if Jesus Christ returns in my lifetime, then I will not die. I will just go straight to heaven as a living person. Now, I won't be a living person, then I'll be, I'll be a, a uh, eternal person, but you know what I'm saying is that uh, I would be converted from the physical realm to the spiritual realm, as will every born-again Christian in the world. So my prayer for you is that, is that if your eyes aren't already open, that they will be, and if they are open, that they'll be opened even further, that you'll understand that what, what's going on is far, far beyond what you're seeing in the newspapers and on TV, and, and it's far more significant than that. And to understand and know that the final victory is God's, and therefore you have nothing to worry about. So... That's my prayer for you and for every person that you love. This is the Vietnam era vet out.